All right, guys, back in the truck. The gentleman wanted to stop me, give me a table set. It was a saw metal table set uh, that had the saw on top of it. So I got it from the backyard and uh, carried it through it on the trailer. Let's finish riding around and see what else we can find. Cause I know so many people in this area, so they always stop me and stuff like that. Now, I don't know if you guys see one of my previous videos, but do you remember that van that this house here? Uh, they had the refrigerator with the red dumpster. End up grabbing the, the refrigerator. I know her and her son. Pretty nice people. Yeah, but it's pretty much it this this pretty much now this area i normally comes on you know i normally come on tuesdays maybe wednesday and thursday i don't go here on friday friday i go to a different area or i normally come here maybe two three days out the week i kind of ride in this area um you know like i said because i know everyone in this area and uh a, a lot of this area is older people um but yeah but, you know just pretty much what i do on a regular basis i ride through there and uh, people stop me or they'll leave it on the side of the road uh, just running through here and some of the grass I cut in this area as well uh, some of the trash hauled out uh, hauled off some of the trash uh, some of the people that's moving now they go a dumpster there um, the thing about it is uh, the people that do, they're doing the clean out they put the stuff on the side of the road so if it's nothing on the side of the road they don't want you digging in the dumpster so. Some of these homes are starting to become empty. Uh, some investors are coming in this area and buying up uh, a lot of the homes here. A lot of the older homes, they're fisting them up um, and getting ready to rent them out. So, uh, they, you know, they're just doing a lot of upgrades within this area. Uh, a lot of companies are moving in, um, buying up some land, uh, building up retail in this area. It's a growing area that's starting to do real good. Um, the economy in this area is starting to pick up. The houses in this area is picking up as well. Um, a house out here, back in the day, you got from under 100,000, you know, in the Hampton area in Georgia. Now you might come out here and the house in this area might be 200,000. Although they're older homes, smaller homes, and just the price of them have, uh, have, have went up with inflation and stuff like that, with the market and stuff like that. So. So yeah, this is pretty much it. This is pretty much what I do uh, on a regular. And um, I'm gonna get off this video soon and start recording and kind of ride around a little bit more. If I had to estimate the time it'd take me, probably a four hour video. I love it because it's, it's like subdivisions and homes just all connected. And, and you know, you just have to go in and out of them and just see what's in there. So I'm not gonna film the whole uh, trip, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, this is a newer subdivision here. Um, and they do put stuff out here as well. There's a guy that does appliances. Um, let me see. I'm going this cul de sac here to the right of me. There's a house down here that got on his own uh, uh, appliance store. And uh, he normally put out the appliances at the end of the road that's um uh, the 
paints that they no longer need, uh, they might have, you know, pulled the parts off of it and, you know, put it on to so something else and they no longer need that uh, washing machine. They no longer need that dryer because they got the parts off of it. They parted it out and uh, so they'll bring it here and sit at the end of the road, which was nothing there. And uh, I just go pick it up. Very nice subdivision. So, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get off this video. We're getting ready to come to the end of this subdivision. Um, you know, I think I'll go through one more coat of set, and that's pretty much it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get off of uh, this recording here. Like I said, it'll take me a minute to record everything and I, I just catch you guys when I get to the scrap yard. Alright. Alright, good afternoon everyone. Hope all is well. Just quite the week before not to clean the service. Here at the scrap yard on this nice beautiful day. Got some rain clouds behind me. Look like the rain trying to make its way inside here. Made it to the scrap yard just in time. I hope you guys uh got a chance to see the video from earlier. Kind of give you guys a glimpse of what I do when I get out here to kind of ride around to pick up some scrap metal. Uh that area I normally ride in maybe you know three to four times out the week, depending upon if, you know, there's a lot of scrap metal, a lot of activity out there, then I'll ride through that neighborhood. But other than that, man, you know, I kind of bounce from place to place. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what I have on the trailer. I'm gonna show you guys on something at the scrap yard that I've seen, some AC units. Um, you know, man, I wish I could get them, but I can't name mine, but I wish I could get them. And then, you know, I got a nice little go-kart on here, man. Somebody left a go-kart at the end of the road, a nice little piece of brass. Let me show you guys what I have on this trailer. Uh all right, guys, here we go. Got a nice little go-kart on here. Somebody left it on the side of the road, you know? Um, be nice to uh, give it to one of the grandkids, man. I tell you, it still works. The chain still works. The wheel still turns. Let me show you guys. Let's see if I can get this lift, lift up here. Um, yeah, we got everything tied to it. Uh, but yeah, let me show you guys, man. So it seemed to me that you might have to put another brake on here because it seems like the brake is kind of kind of messed up but the actual wheels turn let me see here yeah, it's in great shape the changes on it real good the wheels turn it seemed to me if you uh if you paddle this thing everything seemed to work pretty good on it Thinking about um, see that? That's me turning the wheel. And it works pretty good. So uh, somebody left on the side of the road, man. So I'm going to give it to one of the guys out here. Uh, they might can use it for one of their kids, you know. Um, and they can, you know, put a little work into it. Maybe put like a little, a little another little um, pedal on this side, another little pedal on this side, and. Uh, Get it all fixed up and they can give it to one of their kids or grandkids or whatever. But yeah, this is what I have, man. And I've got this carper. Somebody gave me this. It's a nice little lake right here. Um, take pretty good. Nice little piece of carper. I also got a nice little piece of brass on here. I'll show you guys this brass, man. Uh lady gave this to me this morning. This thing weighs about 10 to 15 pounds, man. It's pure brass. Pure brass. Well, you know what? inside of here i need to get the mat in to make sure because i see that i see some rust inside of here but if i'm not mistaken yeah this is pure brass yeah they look like pure brass i do see some rust on the edge of it so i want to make sure it's brass so i'm gonna get the, the mat in and make sure that i put it up to it before i take it up there because i do see some rust at the bottom it could just be metal but yeah I weighed in almost a thousand pounds man on this pretty slow day and uh yeah this is pretty much all that i have man nice little refrigerator and stuff like that man you know the dishwasher and the stuff like that. Now I want to show you guys over here. Let's go over here for a minute. These AC units, man. Um, so I do have a scrap metal license here in Georgia. I don't know if it's in most states. Some states doesn't do it. Some state does. In the state of Georgia, you can purchase a license which allow you to scrap anything. So what you do is it's like paying taxes each year. You purchase you purchase the license, and what the license does, it pretty much saying that hey, this is how I pay my taxes. I purchased the license, and the license allowed me to pretty much scrap whatever I want to scrap. So I can scrap this. I can scrap this in the state of Georgia with the license that I have. And this here is a nice lick. Look at all this copper and stuff on these AC units and the AC motors and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So you know. 
like this right here, you know, that's a nice, nice lick, man. Look at all the, these AC units, man. Look at all these AC units. It's a whole bunch of them, man. They just stack them in the pile. People just bring them and throw them out here, which if you don't have a license, that's the best thing to do because you can get yourself in trouble, you know? Uh, if you don't know how to release the free iron into, release the free iron, you know, like most people release the free iron into the air, that's a fine. You can't do that, you know? You have to uh, purchase a, uh, or take it to an AC shop and let them drain it, which they'll drain it into something in there will um that's how they you know get rid of the freedom but a lot of people like to cut the wires or cut the carpet when they release it to the air and that's why they find themselves getting in trouble with. i also want to show you guys look at this over here uh this was brought out this morning man it look like it's all aluminum yeah it is it's all aluminum all aluminum but yeah it's a truck bed these guys will get out here and weld this stuff to pieces man all oh, this aluminum her aluminum frame man yeah this is all aluminum all aluminum frame you know so you know, somebody uh, got a nice little cleanup this morning. And he got this big old truck tires and assholes and stuff like that, man. But yeah, it's all aluminum, man. It's all aluminum. Nice little, uh, this is a big payday right here. It's a big payday. Way in and uh, man, that's a, this is a nice check, man. So yeah, man, so this is pretty much it, man. This is what's going on at the scrapyard out here. Not much going on. It seems like the employees don't want to tuck their break. It's almost three o'clock my time. So these guys will be shutting down in 45 minutes here. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here, get everything offloaded, man. I see the excavator back there, but like I said, there's nobody in the excavator. Everybody's going to break, going on break right now, I'm going to lunch. So uh, it gave me some time to get everything offloaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything offloaded. Hope you guys enjoy your day. Be safe out there, man, be safe. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Catch you guys tomorrow, peace.